Do natural fork slingshots actually work? Today we're going to be turning this dead Golaba tree tree fork into a nice shooting natural fork slingshot that shoots just as good as the ones that you buy from the store. This is just to prove to you that you don't need a fancy slingshot to start shooting. Why is my saw blade so dull? Okay, there we go. It's all cut out. Just like that. We're gonna start shaving the tips down. So we're gonna shave it flat on this side and flat on this side. Check the evenness. Okay, it's a little thicker on this side, but it's gonna be fine. There's the rough shape. We got the tips uh, sanded down till they're nice and even on both sides, and we just added a little angle on them. On the handle, we're gonna do a little bit of shaping on this thing. Just kind of add a little bit of a one of them numbers. Yeah. Okay. All the shaping and everything is done on this thing. So at the beginning of the video, I think I said I liked 95 millimeter fork with. Hey Siri, what's 95 millimeters to inches? 95 millimeters is 3.74 inches. <laughs> okay, 3.74 inches. So right there is 3.74, and there's what the fork is. So we're pretty close. Um, you don't need to go this far as far as shaping and everything. You can just technically you can just round the tops off and put band grooves. But since I have the tools, I like to make them comfortable. Um, there's the slant on the tips. Now I'm just going to kind of go around with some 80 grit sandpaper and smoothen the whole thing off. 80 grit sandpaper. Um, we're going to start rounding off the tips a little bit. So to do that, we just got some 150 grit sandpaper on a smooth surface, and we're just gonna kinda run it. Tips are all done on this thing, so we're gonna start sanding it smooth, and we're gonna put some oil on it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hana Fitty. Yeah. Next up, 220P. I've never seen this technique before. What? <laughs> the anchor pull. <laughs> Next up, 400P. Ready? Scrub a dub. Look at that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dude, that looks sick. Yeah, it does. Oh! Okay, here we go. After all the boiled linseed oil, nice looking natural. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of let this seep in a little bit. And then we'll throw some bands on it. Um, we've got some sniper sling 0 0.6, 23 to 12 with some 9.5 millimeter steel balls. Yeah, that was a little low. You're so accurate with that thing. 
Do you want to shoot it? Four. Yeah, kind of. Okay. I'll get to ten and then you can shoot. Five in a row. Six. And now it's gone. Almost cut it. I'm gonna cut it right here. I just gotta hit it right in that slip. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, you can go now. I'm gonna set it up again. Stop you. First shot. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, nice. Oh, this one. Damn. Are you better than this one than with your... I think so. You can have it. You want it? <laughs> what? Nah, I don't, I don't want to take this. Or I can make you a better one. This thing? Out of the full thing. It's pretty cheering. I give it like a nine and a half out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> nine and a half? <laughs> Well, it's made for a righty. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Whoa. Okay, your turn. Okay. Couple pieces in here. Here you go. Oh, that was good. Oh. Perfect. Oh. I just got really shaky. What was it? The spoon on the hay bale. Oh, nice. Last shot of the day. Actually, pink, pink one. Oh, yeah. There we go. You want to do the outro? Okay, sure. That's it for today's video. Hopefully, this shows you that you don't need an expensive slingshot to hit everything. So go outside, get some tree forks, and smoke some targets. Yo!